Hi all, welcome to MATLAB tutorial on Tute Fulcrum. This session describes the fundamental operations involved in the creation and use of MATLAB variables. MATLAB is a software package for high performance numerical computation and visualization. It provides an interactive environment with hundreds of built-in functions for technical computation, graphics and animation. The name MATLAB stands for Metrics Laboratory. Engineers and scientists worldwide rely on MATLAB and Simulink products to accelerate the pace of discovery, innovation and development. MATLAB and Simulink are used throughout in aerospace, communication, automotive, electronics industries as fundamental tools for research and development. They are also used for modeling and simulation in increasingly technical fields. Many colleges and universities around the world use MATLAB and Simulink for teaching and research in a broad range of technical disciplines. So let's get started. In this course, I'm using MATLAB R2019A version of MATLAB. To install and run MATLAB on your devices, visit the official website of MathWorks and follow the guidelines. To begin, let's look at the general structure of MATLAB environment. On almost all the systems, MATLAB works through three basic windows which we'll see one by one. So we'll begin with the command window. So this is your command window. This is the main window. It is characterized by the MATLAB command prompt. This is what we call as command prompt. When you launch the application program, MATLAB puts you in this window. All commands, including those for running user written program are typed in this window at the MATLAB prompt. Second is the current directory or current folder pane. This is located on the left of command window in the default MATLAB desktop layout. This is where all your files from the current directory are listed. You can do file navigations here and make sure that this is the directory where you want to work so that MATLAB has access to your files and where it can save your new files. Third is the workspace pane. So this sub window lists all the variables that you have generated so far and shows their type and size. You can do various things with these variables such as plotting by clicking on a variable and then using the right button on the mouse to select your options. So now let's see how to create a variable in MATLAB. If I write a statement say a equal some expression 2 plus 3 and then press enter. So this creates a variable A and assigns the result of expression that is 2 plus 3 that is the result is 5 and this 5 is assigned to variable A. Or simply if I write x is equal to 7, a variable x is created which stores the value 7. If I say y is equal to 90, creates a variable y and stores the value 90. So in MATLAB, you do not need to define or declare a variable before it is used, like in your C or C++ programming language. Certain rules has to be considered when you name a variable in MATLAB. You may use upper and lowercase letters or numbers and underscore character. Variable names must not begin with numbers or the underscore. And MATLAB is a case sensitive programming language. That is, it differentiates between small letter A and capital letter A. So the variables that you have created will be available in your workspace. You can see here. We have created variable a x y so you can see the same in your workspace you have the variable a here x here y here the variable name along with your values will be available onto your workspace 
so before moving with the next command let me just clear my command window so you have a command available to clear the command window and it is clc the clc command will clear your command window so you can see the command window is cleared now let me put a word of caution in choosing variable names in matlab that is matlab will also allow you to redefine reserved keywords keywords are nothing but an entity with predefined meaning for example pi is a keyword in matlab if i'm using this as a variable that is i'm modifying the value and let me initialize pi with an entity 3 So pi is holding a value three now. So now, if you want to evaluate like an entity, say cos of pi. So this result, let me take to a variable like a cos value. Okay. Suppose I have an expression like this. That is, I'm going to compute cos of pi. So pi is nothing, as you know, it's a mathematical constant with an approximate value of three point one four one five nine. But that entity I have now modified to say three. So you're going to compute like cos of three. Let's see what will happen. So your output is minus of point nine nine zero zero instead of the expected value of minus one. Worse yet, we can redefine the cos function itself. That is, if I write cos equal to say four point five, so I have reused the cos here as a variable name. So I have used cos as four point five. That is the inbuilt cos function. I have now used it as a variable. So later in our program, we evaluate the cosine function. we should expect an error that is if i say t is equal to i am computing cos of pi you can see the error message here index exceeds the number of array limits the precise meaning of this error may not yet be clear that is basically matlab things you are trying to find the third element of the array cos but it should be obvious Why redefining keywords can lead to mysterious errors that can be hard to track down. So do not use keywords or function names as your variable names. Now let's see how to clear the variables from your memory. Suppose we want to restore the original meaning of the MATLAB keyword cos. We can do this by clearing our definition from global memory. Let's also clear our definition of pi as well. So the command is clear. Then we are going to clear cos as well as pi. So clear cos space pi. This command will clear the cos as well as pi from the memory. You can see it's removed. They are no longer available in your workspace. So again, if you check cos of pi, now you will get the expected output. We'll verify. Let's say value equal to cos of pi. Now you should get the expected output. Yes, you are getting minus one as expected. MATLAB provides a default variable name. That is, simply if you give an expression like this two plus three, I'm not using a variable name here to store the result of this expression. So you can see a variable a n s is provided here to store the result of the expression two plus three. So a n s is the default variable name that is provided by the MATLAB. You can list all the variables that you have used in your program using a command who in MATLAB. So this will list whichever variables you have used so far in your program. So we have used a variable a cos underscore value x a n s value y. A similar command whose w h o s shows you more detail about each variable in your workspace. So here, along with the variable, it gives informations like size. the bytes 
the class and attributes of your variable. Now if you want to create, delete or remove all the variables, you can use the command clear all. This will remove all the variables from the workspace. You can see here now the workspace is empty. Now let's see the usage of semicolon in MATLAB. Let me write a statement say s is equal to 90. This statement is familiar to you. Here I am creating a variable s which is assigned with a value 90. Let me write one more statement a equal to say 78 but now I am using a semicolon here. Let me evaluate this. What is the difference you can observe here? So when I say s is equal to 90 without a semicolon, you can see s equal to 90, the output is displayed in the command window. Whereas when I created a variable a and initialized with 78 along with a semicolon, I cannot see the output in command window, but yes, my variable is created. You can verify with your workspace here. So, semicolon in MATLAB is used to suppress the output in command window. So, this is how you create variable in MATLAB and few commands to handle the variables. We will see more in coming sessions. Thank you so much for watching. Please do like, share, comment and subscribe and please don't forget to tap the bell icon You'll get notified whenever we upload our new videos. Thank you so much.